Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting uh, of the Sunderland Board. Select Board. Uh, this will be a short meeting. Uh, we, got, we have two things that are on the basically two things that are on the agenda that I needed to talk about. Uh, so, call to order November 1st, 6.32, and that's Verizon time, 6.32. Uh, first thing up is the approval of minutes of October 25th. I have a motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of October 25th as presented. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. Next up is the Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans Service contract renewal. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans Services um, has been providing veteran services for Sunderland um, since before I got here, and we got notification that they're going to continue to provide services and. Um, asked if we wanted to stay with them and sent a three-year contract um, over to continue to work with them to provide services to veterans. Yeah, that um, it, it, it brings a professional and allows that people are up-to-date trained on how to give those services. So I would, I would say I, I would be in favor of that. Uh, make a motion. I second. Yeah, motion made and seconded to uh, renew a three-year contract with the uh, Upper Pioneer Valley Veteran Services. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. And the reason we came here was the award to Riverside Park Site Improvement Contract. Jeff. Yeah. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Um, we received the bids so just as a, a refresher for folks who might be watching um, two years ago um, cpa awarded a grant to the library to create a kayak uh, kiosk where kayaks could be stored it would be shaded seating there would be a, a new baseball shed incorporated um, and then we leveraged those funds to apply for a park grant in uh, 2020, and we were awarded the park grant. Um, we did, did a bunch of designs. We were ready to go out to bid over the summer, um, and that's when construction materials went crazy. So we got a cost estimate. We did some value engineering. We added some alternatives so that we could get the base price down to what we thought was reasonable and then if we could afford other things we were going to put it back in um, so we finally went out to bid in october and we split the bid up there was the site improvements which was sort of the horizontal construction that was the walkway along the boat ramp and those came in um, near or within budget and then this procurement that we were going to talk about today was um, for the buildings, which was the kayak kiosk, um, renovating the restroom so that they're ADA compliant. And then we were going to pour a foundation so that we could replace the recreation shed, which is um, sort of tilting <laughs> and it may, may not make it through the winter anyway. Yeah. Um, and we got those bids back and the lowest base bid was about 63% higher than we anticipated. Um, basically, what, what we thought um, was gonna be the total cost to do the entire, all the buildings, um, was about the cost that they thought it would be for the kayak kiosk. So, unfortunately, I think because of the large discrepancy, what we have to do what I'm recommending that the select board do is reject all the bids. Um, we'll go back. I had a, a conversation with the park program coordinator and said, I just want to let you know, <laughs> here's where we're at. And um, she said, okay, well, come back to me with a revised scope. And if that's acceptable, then we'll allow it to continue. Um, I'm uh, meeting with some of the project team tomorrow, including the library director, um, to talk about ideas. But in my head, um, I think the 
the cleanest thing in order to get things done would be to do the kayak kiosk and the walkway if that's allowed um, and then we have the designs for the restroom we have the designs for the shed so we can either go to cpa to to right. do those or something separately. like that try and find another um source of funding um so i, I we we need to talk through the options there are a couple other ways we can do it but um I think that what we're going to have to wind up doing is, is reducing the scope in some amount, and, and hopefully that'll be acceptable to the park program. Was the increase due, like, did we get a breakout by any chance of how much of that was material increases versus labor? We didn't. Um, we, because it was, just we a, did, it was a lump sum bid, and so we yeah. did... We did go back to the low bidder and say, hey, could you just break it out between these three aspects of the project so that we knew, had a better idea of how we could get back into budget. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it, it was a lump sum bid. Um, and so we don't know the difference between labor and um, materials. Materials. Yeah. Because <clears throat> at least then maybe taking it in pieces we can hit up the other ones later when you know hopefully material costs come up, come back down a little more reasonable right and and that's one of the <clears> things <throat> that we've heard is that you know the designs if you recall they have some uh, some aesthetic elements that are um, labor intensive right and i think that you know the screens which were actually an, i believe an alternate were um one of the things but the roof too and just sort of the, the way it was designed and I mean, it's a beautiful design so i think we just need to um sharpen our pencils again and i mean well, we can do it in phases right you know, just uh, we, we just have to see how we you know what what the park program is willing to accept because if yeah. they come back and say well you're not doing the restrooms then we're gonna cut the amount of the award and then we can't afford to do the kayak kiosk because it's not the 90 grand we thought it was, it's 170 and we don't have the park money to support it. We're, um, and then the other thing just to keep in mind is we have a June 1st deadline for expending the grant funds. So we have a, you know, we're in a tough spot because realistically the park program wanted us to start construction in july yeah. and um you know w bids probably would have been higher if we got out to bid then so, so. Right, so basically go, let's go out and, and get looked at again and come back so we can get it back on them back on the street yep yeah and they must be running into the same issue all across the state with projects so Yep, it, and it I, can't be unique in that respect. I actually got an email right after this email um, from another town administrator that said, "Hey, we have a bunch of grants that we just went out to bid, and the bids came back well, a lot higher. You know, is it worth writing a joint letter to the state saying, can we maybe use some ARPA funds uh, to increase the the grant amount so that we can yeah. support all this?" That's great. Yeah. So um, I, I replied and said. How can I help? And here's a great example if you need one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. um, so, yeah, we're working on that as well. But the the park program said that they are not going to, uh, today, said they're not going to extend the deadline because that was another thought if we could phase it and get additional CPA funds. Yeah. But um, So we're, we're working on it and okay. doing the best we can. And hopefully I'll have a, a positive update next week. So do you need us to mechanically vote to reject the bids today or? Yes, and, and any guidance as to elements that are particularly important. I mean, I, I think in my mind it makes the most sense because the walkway portion came in on budget that that would be. Do that. And, and the kayak kiosk was a CPA grant. So those two to me seem like they make the most sense. But if you say, hey, the, the restrooms are, and, and we actually, I, I, we'll have to see what happens with the walkways, but that might, um, that was something that we approved a couple of weeks ago already. So, yeah. um, 
I mean, at least we have restrooms down there. You know, a lot of parks don't. So. Right. Right, and in the interim, we could certainly do some some minor repairs, such yeah. as you know fixing the hole in the ceiling, type of thing in the roof. Yep. All right, let us know. Okay. Um, what a motion to yeah. um, reject the bids. I'll second it. Motion made and seconded to reject <clears throat> bids. Although I would think as chief procurement officer, you could do that, but that's um, true. Can you? Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, all right. All those in favor, yeah. rejecting bids, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero, reject bids. Thank you. Unavailable funds. Do you get like a big red stamp? Do you get to do that like the old days? <laughs> reject. I think Andrew has that at the cog. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay. All right. Anybody on TV want to say anything? Okay, without hearing anybody want to say anything, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Jeffrey? I'd like to say something. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a couple of quick updates. Mm -hmm. The sidewalk project on 116, I, I was out with the highway superintendent and MassDOT and the contractors today, and they are expecting to start work this week or next week. Okay. Um, the plan that was discussed this morning was to start at about the frosty come down to where the planned uh, crosswalk is cross over to the southbound side of 116 Go and then way. continue to the intersection and then come back from the intersection out so um, they're planning to try and do this, get the sidewalks in before winter and then come back in the spring to do all the line painting and they're gonna seating. Do cement uh, they or asphalt? Are, I was wondering. They that. are going to do cement and they advised okay. not to plow it this year. Don't put no salt on it either. That's yes, why. They exactly. said if you plow right. it, somebody's going to put salt on it and it's going to start eroding it. before you even so get a fall season. Spawn. Yeah, because yeah, it needs time to cure. I, I yeah. and again, concrete looks great. I will tell you once again, we just you and I have discussed this about concrete, and concrete fails in New England if it's not done correctly. Very few people know how to do it correctly. That is true. And and, it, and it's not not and not it's not saying it's there's a very specific way to do it, and most people don't have the the expertise to do it correctly, and that comes from. The testing center, which is at UMass, and that does it for the all of Mass Highway throughout UMass. So I mean, all throughout the state. So that's what they tell me. UMass has tried to use concrete, and and the hardest thing they have is making sure that the people that put it in is qu are qualified to do it. So, and it would not necessarily be the lowest bid. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, Three other quick things. One is uh, there is going to be a housing survey going out for the housing production plan update. Um, and we're just finalizing the survey, hoping to get it out this week. We're going to put it out on the website. We have a couple physical surveys if people have trouble. We have some postcards with uh, QR codes that you can take the survey online as well. Uh, we're going to be distributing that to uh, putting posters up around town and then also trying to distribute it to the apartment complexes um, either through their email list or physical distribution to try and get a response um, so I wanted to mention that um, we had discussed people parking in the tree belt along North Main Street and we got some signs made up picked those up this afternoon so tomorrow we'll go out and put those out um, those are temporary lawn signs to try and discourage people from parking um, and then the last thing is the complete streets project um, on South Main and South Silver uh, the grassy did not come in as well as we had hoped mm -hmm. and at this point um, there we've talked to a couple of people who don't feel like the grass would come in if it was planted now getting kind of late so yeah. i i've talked to the mass dot uh, grant coordinator and said if we asked for an extension would that be a black mark on sunderland would make it harder to get grants would and they said no it'd be fine we'd be happy to 
grant you an extension. So yeah, we'll just um, do it in the spring. if there are no objections, I was gonna. They just need a letter from me officially requesting a, a six month extension, which would be the yeah. second extension for this contractor, which is admittedly a little frustrating because it's grass, <laughs> and you would hope that they did it right the first time or the second time. But um, I think it's a better solution than having weeds growing where there should be grass. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, it was a really tough year because it was drug conditions the first part of the summer and then we had like flood conditions afterwards. So it was a little, and you could do it now, but the weather could just turn cold. And then that's the thing, it may not get enough time to germinate and grow in thick enough. And with leaves on the ground, they were worried yeah, that it exactly. wouldn't make it, so. Yeah. it, it, it had, it stands a much better chance if they do it in the spring. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all I had. Yeah. That's it. Motion. Motion. Second. All right, motion made and seconded to. Oh, with a musical end note, too. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a motion made. Is that is that a hand up on the. No, TV? that's this mic cursor. Oh. Okay. Well, you, it. it <laughs> When you run a meeting now, now you not, before you have to look at the thing, right, now you, you got to look, look there at the, too. Yeah, yep. you have to look at the thing also. But anyway, uh, so we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. Uh, next meeting will be next week. Um, also, just a quick announcement that uh, the senior center is now open at the Pope John Paul Center, which is the uh, Catholic Church, Holy Family Church. So that's now that's where we are right now so if you uh they're gonna start opening right. programs up this week yep right yep so they're gonna be monday wednesday friday for right now so bag lunches all right so your motion made and seconded all those in favor signify by saying aye aye dave pierce is clocking working uh he's bad adjourn us at uh 650 please jeff <laughs>